Oh my goodness. Okay. I think that's a little better. So hello everyone. My name is Shamira, aka Mimi. If you're new, welcome to the channel. If you're returning, welcome back. So you guys, this is something a little different than what I usually do. You guys get to take a card. Um, but I, I am going to start uploading things onto my Patreon because I do want to talk about certain topics, you know, like sex, drama, okay, dating, portrayal, and also money. Let's talk about real life things, okay? But this video in particular, we're going to talk about dating, okay, you guys? Like, how does dating go for you guys? What do you guys look for when you are dating, Um the reasons why you guys are dating like what is your end goal what is your purpose in dating okay because i a lot of us talk about it um i am gonna pull some cards i'm gonna pull a card from my heal yourself deck um i do feel like when you are dating you are trying to look for someone um uh, most of the time to um add to our lives just to introduce a new energy into our lives because we feel like in some area of our lives we kind of need it okay so whether it be for just sex, okay, because some people do date for sex um, or looking for friends, all right, someone just to hang with, someone just to vibe with, uh, to help heal you guys and fill a void, or are we looking for someone who can be our potential love interest, okay, long term, short term or long term, it doesn't matter, but we all have our different reasons for dating, and you guys, all the that came straight out with sexual arts so this is going to be the part of dating we're going to talk about okay the sex part when you go into dating for sex okay first of all i'm going to say when you are dating okay some people are into the online dating that is a little popular these days because of our social distancing the online you know dating and stuff like that is starting to become a little more um accepting okay and uh but most people jump into okay i'm gonna say that but i don't know maybe it's me but i do prefer to date people and meet people on not online but in person because i feel like online people lie they lie about you know who they really are of course people can lie in your face but i feel like um the in-person type of dating and meeting you can see a person um, body language you can read them a little bit better because yeah online like I said people can definitely hide behind screens um, and you don't really get the full picture of that person okay the full view of that person um, the full energy and vibe off of that person until you're actually next to them because it's really different behind the screen this is the age of Aquarius and I feel like a lot of technology can and could be uh, manipulated okay with certain energies so you don't really get the full story and picture and essence of a person until you're actually physically there in their face. Um, I personally prefer to meet people in person because, um, like I said, I get a better read off of people. But when I'm going in for uh, sex, if I'm dating someone for sex, I'm not saying that I am now. This had nothing, nothing to do with me personally. But if I'm dating someone and I'm looking for... Um, you know, some sort of sexual pleasure, I'm definitely going to let it be known. You know, some people, um, they are a little more shy, so they don't really like to look at a person or be around a person. They're a little, you know, they could be introverted or they could be uh, empathic, okay? And a lot of energies in person could throw them off, okay? Um, some people do have uh, issues with that, you know, being introverts and being shy and uh, being a little sensitive to other people's energies. They don't really like to see people in person. Um, so they opt for the online. But um, either way, introducing another person into your energy, into your life, into your space, is you have to take some caution with it, okay? But when it comes to sex, I don't look at the sexual arts as just you know having sex, but I do look at it as finding a person to balance out your sexual energy because um, as you guys know, everyone has masculine and feminine energies. Some people have more masculine than feminine. Some people have more feminine than that, you know, masculine. So they could go out and date and try to find someone that really balances out uh, what they're feeling, okay? Especially when it comes um, to their sexual nature and their sexual energy. So 
if you are going out, uh, like I said, to date people, this is a little advice for some people. You don't have to take it if you don't want to. If you're going out to date people um, to have sexual encounters, make sure you guys are a little balanced in your energy and also um, balanced within your sexual energy also because you don't want to... Uh, you don't want to go out here, put yourself out here, put yourself in any type of danger, okay? Um, just a second, you guys. As soon as I said danger, I heard a siren. So this is confirmation for someone. I'm going to wait till it passes. I think it passed, you guys. If you guys are out here uh, dating people to get sexual pleasure, make sure you guys are checking in with your uh, sexual health, with your PCPs, with your doctors. Uh, make sure you guys are um, asking these people you are dating for their sexual, uh, for their about their sexual health, and and to show you proof. Okay, because people can tell you anything. So make sure um, you're on top of that, and also. Um, I keep saying also and also. <laughs> Guys, don't pay me any more. I'm just in a really great mood today. Um, I'm looking at this card. I'm still looking at this card, the sexual arts card. Um, some of you guys could definitely be a Libra. Okay. Aries, Sag, Leo. You could have some cancer placements. But when you guys are going out, Stay on top of your sexual health and ask others about their sexual health. Um, if they refuse to show you proof or any paperwork about their sexual health, do not engage, okay? Do not date. You can date them, but you don't have to have sex with them. Um, you can date them, but you don't have to kiss them because you can get diseases and, and things like that through kissing, okay? So I'm going to give someone that advice. Stay on top of that. And if you feel like uh, if you feel like it, it's, it's becoming a little much of a hassle to ask people about their sexual health, then um, they aren't they aren't the people you should be dating, okay? Because no one should hesitate or or make you feel guilty about asking about their sexual health, especially if you are uh, willing to intertwine your body with their body. No one is worth putting your, your health at risk. I'm going to say that to somebody because somebody needs to hear it. I don't care how good they look, okay, how fiery and passionate you guys look or how passionate the sex might be with this person or these people. Uh, please stay safe, okay? Please keep yourself safe and everyone else safe. Um, and for someone, um, if you found out that your health isn't the best, um, please inform the people you had sex with, okay? Because you don't want to keep it a secret and, and risk having them give it to other people. Um, I do feel like as humans, we have a obligation to protect each other from any type of harm. Um, even if we are going through what we're going through, um, we still have that capacity to uh, look out for other people and to help other people even if we can't and won't help ourselves all right so don't become spiteful and salty that someone gave you something and then like uh don't inform that person or you know don't inform your other partners because some of you guys are getting that um you're dating multiple people more than one maybe three um i'll say three to six people okay uh, I, something told me just to pull something from this uh, sexual deck. This was supposed to be for Wild and Free Wednesday. I didn't have a chance yesterday, but I'm going to do it today. I just want to get one card um, from this, and I got three. <laughs> okay. As soon as I said it, okay, I got the Magician. All right. The Magician. All right, um, six of cups. More sirens, you guys. Okay, this is cautioning. This is this is a warning for someone. And you guys got the tower. See, I told you guys, it doesn't matter how safe you feel with a person, okay? You see how he's holding her like he's feeling safe? It doesn't matter how safe you feel with a person 
or how familiar uh, this person may seem, okay? The Six of Cups, they may seem like a soulmate, all right? When it comes to dating, okay? I'm getting that with the magician. Don't allow people to trick you, okay? And tell you anything. Always ask for proof. Always ask for proof, okay? Because you can definitely uh, find yourself in a tower moment. And I'm seeing how she's inspecting him. Like, <laughs> look how she's inspecting him. Like, I see some bumps on there. What is this white stuff coming out? He's like, I don't know. She's like, I'm not going to suck this. <laughs> I'm not going to suck this. What is that? He's like, I don't know. She's like, how many bitches do you fuck? Uh, I don't know. No. You guys. I, this 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 whole thing turned left. I was going to give you guys some advice on dating period, but for someone, please make sure you guys are asking these people, um, no matter what they tell you, ask these people uh, about their sexual health because you do not want to be sitting inside this damn doctor's office trying to figure out what the hell is going on with you, okay? And also ask for people's intentions if they just want to have sex. Um, they should definitely tell you and you should definitely tell them if you guys are looking for something long-term, um, like a long-term sexual type of thing. Cause you know, you also have the one night stand sexual encounters. You got the friends with benefits, sexual encounters. Um, and then you got like, uh, the long-term relationships. You guys really want to fall in love. And then you got the polyamory you know, type of situations. If you guys are out here dating, um, make sure you guys are letting your attentions be known. And if you guys are into a certain sex, let that be known. Don't lie to someone. Uh, because um, if you're out here dating people, telling people that you're into uh, a particular thing, you're going behind their back, um, dibbling and dabbling, okay, not being honest, being a trickster, and shit doing stuff behind the scenes you're putting everyone you, you are dating or dealing with health at risk by not being honest with them and then you come back with an std or something um and, and you're looking you got people or your wife or your person or whomever you guys are involved with looking at your dick or looking at your yeah your, your wife like what the hell is going on with that like what is that okay like what is that there's something coming out of you. What is it? Okay, no matter how sweet and um, how in love you guys might seem or how cool a person might be, um, they're not worth putting your health at risk, okay? <coughs> I'm so sorry I coughed, you guys. Someone doesn't want me saying that. So please be safe out here, you guys, when you're dating. Uh, take care of that sexual health and uh, stay safe, okay? So, you guys, I'm going to end this because I'm going to keep coughing. You guys, if you like this, hit the like button, comment if you like, share this because someone needs to hear it. Also, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, okay? You guys will get these videos on Patreon. So, if you guys want to follow my Patreon, please hit the link below. And also, you guys, um, hit the notification bell whenever you guys subscribe so you can get a notification whenever I upload videos like this or pick a cards every Monday. You guys have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I will see you next time. Bye.